What is going on, guys? I am Addison. I'm the main speaker. This over the summer, um, to make a little money and have a little fun. And uh, I've continued it at a college, and I thought I'd share some some items I've sold over the last couple weeks. And these are some items you should look out for. You can usually pick them up pretty cheap uh, and sell them for some decent money. So we'll start right here with this very nice Starbucks mug. It's it's a bigger one. It's a 20 uh, 20 ounce coffee mug size. It's from 2006. Um, it was in really nice condition. It was up a good well. I picked it up for 84 cents. Um, there's no chips, no staining. Overall, really nice, nice item. I, I accepted a best offer on it. And I accepted uh, $34 delivery. So I picked it up for 84 cents, sold it for $34. Um, they only for a dollar less than I was asking, so I guess they got the deal they wanted, but I made a solid $25 on an 84 cent cup, so I'll take that all day long. Anything Starbucks, if it's the city mugs, obviously those can go for crazy money, so be on the lookout for those. Um, moving on to the other end of the coffee game, picked up this uh, really, really interesting Dunkin' Donuts mug. It's from the Cayman Islands, and I did some research on it. And apparently in the Cayman Islands, another company um, took over Dunkin' Donuts. So there's no Dunkin' Donuts in the Cayman Islands anymore. You can't find these. I've never seen another one. I did some research and really couldn't find another one like it. I accept their best offer on this as well. Um, I did charge shipping on this one. I usually do free shipping, but I got uh, $40, $40 or so on. And then I was in it for $0.84 cents like the other one. So on these two mugs, I made 50, 60 bucks on two dollars. So be on the lookout. Dunkin' Donuts, I don't think does as well as Starbucks, but you can't find. It's uh, not a great picture, I uh, chilled nevertheless. It's, uh, it's a men's Pendleton. It's all wool, virgin wool. It has the elbow pads. Just a beautiful dark blue color. I accepted an offer on this one well, as well. Um, I picked this up at a Goodwill. I accepted an offer of $36. You can see there, free shipping. Um, and I probably picked it up for 4 5 $6. So easily made 24 to 25 dollars or so after fees and really anything Pendleton in my experience is has been good um wool is the best best um uh, i've sold their dress shirts i've sold the button-up heavy wool shirts like this so i sold sweaters and they usually sell for pretty some money 20 and up so if you see Pendleton it's pretty cheap Go ahead and grab it. It'll sell. And it sells quick. It's all this sold in a few days. Um, so Pendleton, be on the lookout. These were awesome. I had no idea that these went for these kind of money. Pick this up for, gosh, 43 cents. What it came down to at a Goodwill outlet store. And what they are, they're Adidas tearaway pants. You see, they got the uh, they got the snaps all the way down the pants. And, Athletes enjoy these. Um, apparently, they'll pay up for them. This actually went global shipping program to the UK, the United Kingdom, and they paid uh, the $39.99 I was asking on top of global shipping programs, import fees, and shipping costs, which can get pretty costly. So um, they really paid up for these. They were probably in them for $60. And one thing I noticed with these is the condition was just phenomenal. Um, 
there was really nothing wrong with them. They were size medium. They were pretty shiny. I put shiny in the title. I don't know if that helped, but they were really just a beautiful pair of uh, snap packs. Uh, so be on the lookout for these. They had some age to them, I'd say, but paid 40 cents, sold for $40. Can't go wrong. Adidas Tearaway Snap, snap Button Pants. Another brand that's iffy, it depends on what it is, but Tom the Hama I've sold. Sometimes the Hawaiian shirts, they do really well. Other times they sit for a long time, but this, this was neat. I saw this and I thought this was pretty cool. It's a um, Tom Bahama shirt and on the back was a nice embroidery. Um, it says Tom Bahama, designated driver, has a nice drink, the uh, palm trees, the umbrella. Really nice uh, shirt. It has a nice rust color to it, a nice orangey uh, shade to it. It has like the, the fawn leaves, the uh, nice pattern, the buttons, the coconut buttons. The size large, 100% silk. That's the stuff you want to look for for Tom Bahama, silk. Um, stay away from the cotton. It doesn't sell that great. It had a little wear around the collar. I disclosed that and it still, I accepted a, still sold. I accepted a best offer on it. Um, $45, which I was pretty thrilled to get. I paid, uh, $426, I believe, for it at the Goodwill. And it sold, took a couple months, but still a good profit. Um, probably made $30 on it. So I was happy with that. Now this this was awesome. I I picked this up for two fifty, I believe, from a Goodwill. And what it is, I've never heard of the band. Um, it's a nineteen eighty seven uh, concert T shirt for the band Striper. They're a uh, Christian metal band. Um, and this is a concert tour from their nineteen eighty seven The Devil uh, to Hell with the Devil tour. It has the um, has all the tour dates, um, all the cities. Has uh, it was a really nice uh, shape. Uh, no, no cracking in the uh, in the design. Has all the so someone thinking about a potential buyer, uh, someone that was rocking out in the '80s. They're gonna want something like this. They're gonna want to relive those days, or if they're on tour, they're gonna want that perfect piece to go to their concert today. So this is just a perfect item for potential buyer. Size was large. I didn't see too many out there. The prices ranged quite a bit. So I threw it up for 50 and someone paid a buy it now. And they uh, they left great feedback. They were thrilled with it. So vintage concert t-shirts um, sell for decent money, especially if it's a band. If it's really one of the um, bizarre heavy metal concert t-shirts, the really niche smaller fan space um, those t-shirts can go for crazy money largely because they weren't sold in bulk they were usually sold at the venue and they didn't sell a ton of them but those with a hardcore ball following um, they'll pay up for it so concert t-shirts just the regular concert t-shirts I sell for 15 bucks all day long so be on the lookout for those probably made $40 on this shirt and with clothing auctions don't really work that well in my opinion you need to be perfect uh, perfect buyer you need the buyer that wants a specific size style etc fabric design but this this was a soccer jersey and the prices were pretty much all over the place high and low it's a real madrid for um soccer player's name is raul um really nice soccer jersey size large is adidas um it's from uh march 06 that's when it was made so i decided to let it ride 99 cent free shipping auction and they got they got 53 bids, and the ending uh, winning bid was 51.10, which was pretty exciting for me. Um, I paid 4.26 for it. I didn't know much about soccer jersey market, but 
um, this one did pretty well. Obviously, the bigger teams, Real Madrid, um, all the uh, European clubs, they do pretty well in their prices of the jerseys. They're pretty steady. Um, 20, 30, 40, 50 plus. So be on the lookout for soccer jersey, especially if it's a world um, class soccer team. This, this, uh, this was an impulse buy of mine. Um, I saw this at the Goodwill and I paid 1708 for it. Now that was at the time I picked it up over the summer and that was when I was first starting out. And that was a pretty big chunk of change to put into one item. But I saw it and um, I figured why not? Just by the look of it, it's pretty cool. It's a vintage style, um, Harlem Globetrotters, uh, I guess jersey. It has a really nice sewn pattern. Um, basketball, 73, Harlem Globetrotters, 35. And uh, the 35 is for one of the more favor uh, favorite popular Globetrotters, uh, Hubert Osby. He's a big time famous Globetrotter. And, um, I paid 17 bucks for it. It's made by uh, FUBU, Platinum FUBU. And I don't think the FUBU brand does too, too well, but this did pretty well. And not only did it come with the, the shirt, the, the jersey itself, but it also came with a matching pair of shorts. Um, the size on this was XL, but I I would argue that it is much bigger. I, I usually wear an XL, and this was humongous on me. It was like a dress. Nevertheless, um, the buyer paid my asking price, which was a shock to me. They paid the full fifty nine ninety nine, and they paid for shipping as well. And I paid seventeen bucks for it. And I believe I made close to twenty five thirty bucks on it after shipping, shipping it out to them in fees. Um, would I buy this again? I don't know. It was it was pretty. It was more than I'd like to like to um, pay for a single item, but I was happy with it. Um, I just thought it was cool with the matching shorts, so I, I took a stab and it paid off. It took a couple months, but the right buyer wanted it. And last but not least, being in Maine, can't have a, a video without a little L.L. Bean. This is a beautiful L.L. Bean. Uh, the line is a uh, Northwoods Trail shirt. It's uh, the vintage style. It's made in Maine, or the U.S. It's 100% pure wool. It has a Beautiful, um, I believe it's called herringbone. You can't really tell, but I picked this up for a whopping eighty-four cents at a Goodwill outlet store, and I I didn't know the value of it. I knew it was wool. I knew wool does well, but I checked the completed listings, and one sold for eighty-nine dollars, different color, different size. So I threw it up there for ninety-nine ninety. And I received a best offer of, I believe it was $70. Yep, 70 I was running a sale at the time, but I accepted the best offer. And that was my home run. Um, I turned 84 cents. I sold it for 70 I made about 60 some odd dollars. And that was really huge. Um, as far as I can tell, uh, L.O. Bean does pretty well. The better stuff is uh, made in the USA. Or made in Maine, Freeport, Maine. And even better if it's wool. Wool, anything does well. But in terms of L.L. Bean, if it's, if it's wool and made in the USA, it's, it's vintage. It's got some age to it. And it's, it's desirable. People want this stuff. It's getting cold out. And the prices are just going to go up and up. So that's all I have for you guys. I'm going to continue to do these. If you guys like them. Let me know. Give me some feedback. Like my video if you like. But I'd um, just like to thank everyone that uh, has helped me get to this point so far. I started from scratch, made an eBay account uh, end of May and started doing this. I uh, started off watching videos of breaking profits. Um, everyone in the Reseller Society on Facebook, uh, Ronnie Hart, Golden Finger Picker, for Picking Queen, everyone, um, Picking Profits, all those guys and everyone else. And the Facebook groups are an infinite uh, resource. So I just want to shout, shout out to you guys. Thanks so much for your info. Uh, but yeah, let me know if you like these videos, if you like what you see. and I'll keep doing them. Um, so thanks so much for your time and have a good rest of your day.